Kentucky. Yo, what's up everybody? It is your boy Tabani from Be Like TV and today we are interviewing the phenomenal DJ, DJ Trias. What's up, man? What's up? How are you Let's doing? Go. Let's go, bro. Yeah. All, right, all, right. all right, so I just definitely want to jump into it. Firstly, I just want to tell the people who you are. Like, what do you do? What music? If they don't know you. Uh, yeah. Uh, DJ Dries is like basically a, a house producer. Uh, I, I, I can produce like most of the genres, but I like, like really like focus on producing on tribal music, tribal house music, yeah. And yeah, and I DJ too, so yeah. House, like house producer, DJ. Where did it start? Where did DJ Dries come from? Like, did it just appear out of nowhere or what? I know, um, it started off like back in 2015. Yeah. Uh, when I got my first computer, uh, let's say like the house computer, uh, I got that in 2015, and then and I was really bored at the time. And then I, I picked up this software called Apple Studio, which maybe, yeah, many many people know yeah. about it. Yeah, it started off as a hobby, you know, because I was like fascinated to like about what these guys do, like in this house, this house guys. How I wanted to know how to produce, yeah. how to, to know like how to replicate the, the stuff. It was just really a hobby and all of that. So it, from being a hobby, it turned to really, I was actually getting good at it, you know, like in, in six months time. I was, yeah. Like the feedback I got from my friends, but really then I just used to produce and then get just friends come and listen and then that was it. Then they were like, bro, you're really good. You should like keep on doing this. Yeah. And I was like, nah, it's a hobby and stuff like that, but nah. Man, like the whole year 2015 when I like dropped like a miniature mixtape type of thingy key on, 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 on SoundCloud and like all my like friends at school and like, yo, that was, that was, was fire, fire and, and all of that stuff. And I was like, mm, maybe, maybe I, 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 I could, yeah, I could become like really, you know, like good at this, like yeah. probably become, because in one year, man, if, if, if you do something and people tell you you're really good at it in one year. Yeah. So the, the potential of you become like, let's see after like four, three, five years, what's gonna happen? I was, I was thinking that way, yeah, I was thinking that way. So I was like, yeah, maybe. That's where it all started and now I'm here. Uh -huh, that's actually pretty cool. Like, it definitely, I can see you're pretty young. Like I say pretty young, like I'm old, but <laughs> how old are you? I'm, I'm 19. 19, and he's already making these big moves. <laughs> uh, yeah. Definitely in M's industry, he's gonna be killing it in the next few years. And what do you think, where do you think your career is gonna go? Like, as we were talking about the next four or five years, you see you're gonna be really good at what you're doing. So yeah. like, where do you see yourself? What do you want to accomplish in this career, in this field? You know, uh, many young, not, not young, but upcoming artists, they would probably be like, nah, the goal is the money, the pay, and all that stuff. But really, I just wanna, in the next four, three, five, six, ten years, I just wanna perfect my craft, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I wanna be at a point where I make music that touches people, you know, that feeds people's souls, you know, and everything. I just, I really don't. Okay, money is another discussion. Fame is another discussion, but I, I wanna perfect. I wanna be known as the guy who does this type of house music. You know, that touches people. That, that's a strong, I wanna give a, a strong energy for my music. That's that's my goal, that's number one goal. And of course, with that, probably as, as good as you become, all the other things follow, like fame and money and all of that stuff. But yeah, that's, I'm, that's, I'm far. That's I'm, never too bad. Yeah, obviously. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. never too bad. I'll never say no to a little like, you know, <laughs> yeah. fame and money and all that stuff. But yeah, the, the main goal is to perfect my, my, my art, my craft. Oh yeah, definitely. I actually see that, and that's actually pretty cool. Now, obviously, it's still an emerging market. You know, maybe like like the music industry is on its way up. It definitely started pretty recently. Like as an industry, normally it was just people making music, but now it's like people's careers, and there's some top artists. And now, what do you think about the Namibian industry? Like, what do you think about it now? Where do you think it's going, and where do you want it to go? Is it going where you want it to go, or what? Uh, then. Maybe music industry right now, it's, it's you. I don't think really, apart from the top dogs, you know, who the top dogs are the dog, Gaza, and yeah, a few others. Nobody really, not, right now, can can live off their music. Like, that's that's like that, that's just not happening right now. 
So the, it's 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 all of, it's, yeah. Just like we were saying, it's, it's a young industry. You know, uh, our population has a major role you know, in playing. True. It, uh, yeah, it's that it has a major role in, in in how the music industry works and how it goes and how it ends up. So right now, I don't think there's still like, this work to do yeah. to elevate the maybe, music, you know, because like even now. People in Namibia are not even listening to it. Like how True. how the I mean, Namibian music? I can't lie, I barely listen. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So it it starts from home. We need to like you know get people to listen to local artists. Okay, and and also the local artists. They also like we need to take the blame for not putting out a sound that's you know that people, that, that that people hear, can you know? relate to you know because yeah. okay I, in their defense it's what yeah, we have our own music and then then people can say no we don't listen to that music okay it's cool but it's you need like the fans the audiences they need to, to like support our uh, local artists in all fronts whether it's shows it's what it's what it, the music, albums, all of that, all of that stuff. It's, it's, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's needed. And where I want the Namibian music, I don't think in the next five, ten years it's gonna. It's probably gonna change, but not really drastically. Like, you know, yeah. You need to work. You need to learn. First of all, you need to learn how things are done. Yeah. You need to put out quality. Yeah. You, you can't be ranting about no Namibians <laughs> don't buy music, but your music is whack. Exactly. Right? And whack, you, you have to call a spade a spade. If it's whack, it's whack. Yeah. 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 So you have to put. You have to be really talented. You have to sometimes work hard. And, okay. Sometimes working hard. You just have to work smart in the way you want to go. And so uh, what I suggest is really you just have to strategize. You, you need to, like if the market in Namibia is not working. Try and reach out to fellow uh, upcoming producers in, in our neighboring countries, South Africa, wherever. Yeah. And try reaching out, grow a fan base yourself that's not only Namibia yeah. orientated. Yeah, okay, yeah, November from now, from now until 2018 is gonna be very like busy for me. I have two shows coming up. Yes. I'll, I'll be gigging there. Uh, I have a mixtape coming out. You have a wait, wait, you have a show. What what show is at least? Uh it's I don't wanna talk much about it because it's still in the planning process. I will right, call right. you know. Okay, when you have it, hook our fans yeah, up I with will, tickets, we'll have a competition, <laughs> it will be good. Uh, I have a mixtape coming out. Nice. A full house mixtape. Yeah, it's anticipated. My fans okay, yeah, my fans are anticipated. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, it's called We Are Live. Uh, funny name, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's gonna drop uh, probably. I don't have an exact date, but I want it to to, to like early December early so that yeah. people can buy to it and get all the and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah nice. That's what's up. 2018 is gonna be more, on, yeah, it's gonna be more and it's the same school, number one priority, and you know, yeah, we check. Okay, so. Like obviously music is like an inspired art. Like who would you say inspired your music? Who is like your role model? Uh, grade eight, we were finishing high school. Uh, me and my friend used to listen to a lot of heavy K. Heavy K. Yeah, that, that was the guy. Like, that was the guy. I wanted him to emulate him to rip, like if I can make a sound like heavy K. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, that's gonna be cool. Gonna be, yeah. So yeah, heavy K really like for me. Starting and, and and his struggle also inspired me kind of because that, that guy really had nothing also. He became he, he produced music. He became a DJ. And he's you know one of the most successful DJs in South Africa or in Africa. Yeah. So he really inspired me. His music inspired me. His story inspired uh, inspired me. Yeah. Um, and other artists probably with Black Coffee Black. because because of his. You know, dominance in, in the music, African music. Uh, yeah, his his yeah, in his DJing skills, he's probably the best probably DJ. The yeah, best, yeah, I think it's safe to say that. Yeah, it's safe to say that. And 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 my music, I, I learned that okay, I I can probably try and emulate Heavy K, but I was just not feeling it. So I I wanted to create my own niche. 
my own type of music where I, people can be like, okay, this is state US. You know? yeah. So I started doing tribal because I used to do just house, normal house, do yeah. people dance. Then I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do tribal house. And this tribal house was like inspired by by Black Motion. Black yeah, those guys, those guys, the way they do their tribal house, it's fascinating. It's man. So I, I just and, and the way it touched me. It's how I want my music that's okay. every other day, you know. So that's basically it. I was inspired to do music by Heavy K, uh, Black Coffee. And my music is, is inspired by, by 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 Black Motion. Yeah, um, you guys can catch me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at DJ Dries Namibia. Uh, my music you can certainly type on Google or YouTube. Uh, DJ Dress and a few songs will come up. I have a few songs on some uh, YouTube channels, uh, music YouTube channels, uh, and yeah. Okay, it's definitely been a pleasure to have you here. Thanks, bro. Nice to meet you, We'll definitely be seeing way it. more of you yeah, yeah. around Namibia and our whole industry. And, and, I, ho and I hope you guys, when, when, when we are live drops, my mixtape. Definitely. Yeah. You're gonna see that on our website, definitely. You will, every, if, if it's, a, is it gonna be for free or is it gonna yeah, be Yeah, it's, it's for free, it's for free. Okay, it's if it's free, the link will be on our website. It will also be featured on our Instagram for you guys to find it easier and to go download it. Definitely a person you should listen to. And it's been to Bunny from Be Like TV. Thanks for the interview. <laughs>